you are looking live at the Aggie Gym here in Lawton, Oklahoma, as the Cameron Aggies get set to take on the Arkansas Fort Smith Lions. Going to meet the starters first for the Lions. It'll be Kayla Burnbridge from Seattle, Washington, a transfer from Seattle Pacific with Truth Taylor, a graduate transfer from Jackson, Mississippi, transferring from Sean College, Sydney Nunley, a junior from Keller, Texas, a transfer from Hill College, and then down low, Hannah Boyette, a 5'9 junior from Mudrow, Oklahoma. Haven't been there, heard it's muddy. And Riley Hayes, a 5'8 sophomore from Cave Springs, Arkansas, went to Bentonville High School under the direction of Ryan McAdams in his second season as the bench boss at Fort Smith. For the Cameron Aggies, a little bit of a different starting lineup than what we're used to. It will be K.K. Lay and Katie King in the backcourt. Lay, the 5'5", junior from McKinley, Texas, a transfer in from Northeastern State, Oklahoma. King, a 5'6", sophomore from Hera, Oklahoma. They're going to be joined on the perimeter by Corey Allensworth. Allensworth, a 5'10", sophomore from Sulphur, Oklahoma, that transferred in from Division I uh, Louisiana Tech. And then two post players, Red Wilson, the 5'10 junior from Dallas, Texas, a transfer in from Murray State College, and Lakaya Leslie, a 6'1 post player from Kansas City, Kansas, transferred in from Cloud County College in Kansas. The Aggies are going to wear all gray in this one with white lettering and gold outline. The Lions in navy with white lettering and numbering. Lions control the tip. Dribble handoff, top of the key. Lions trying to get into their action. Ball bounces around the perimeter, now goes inside. Trapped in the post. King tries to swipe it away. Turn around, hook shot, no good. Red Wilson on the miss, going to go to King. King sets up the offense. Fans on their feet, waiting for the first bucket. Wilson on the perimeter. Kick over to Leslie. One more delay. Lay inside, back to Wilson. Wilson, one dribble blocked, taken away by the Lions. Hayes on the miss, hit ahead pass to Nunley. And the ball keeps swinging. Crossover move, dump off, too low, taken away by Leslie. Taylor tried to fit it in the pocket, couldn't do it. Lay. Allensworth gets the first bucket of the game. Lions keep trying to swing it. Only six on the shot clock. The skip pass goes into the stands. Shot offline. Back down the floor, taken away by Cameron. King corrals it, pushes it ahead to Lay. Lay, one more to Leslie. Lay crossover, moving the lane, kick out. Here's a three ball. Nailed from downtown with Corey Allensworth stroking it from Altus. Ar- 
Lions trying to break this scoreless drought. Still looking for their opening basket. Nice swing pass, corner three, offline. Long miss, hauled in by Leslie. Lay, trying to keep the offense in rhythm. Lay goes inside, Leslie, kick out Wilson, mid-range jumper, good. Taken away, Allensworth across the timeline. Fires it in, nice bounce pass, finger roll by King, works to perfection. A quick 9-0 run by the Aggies, prompts a timeout by the Lions at the seven-minute mark. Back after this. Eighty years, the Lone Star Conference has been committed to excellence. What began in 1931 as a five-team conference has grown to 18 institutions spanning four states. And while membership has changed, the pursuit of athletic success and academic excellence has never wavered. 119 national championships, over 2,000 All-Americans, and nearly 300 academic All-Americans. Celebrating many years of success, this is the Lone Star Conference. Aggies by nine at the seven minute mark. Here comes Fort Smith. They're going to walk the ball down the floor, trying to break this scoreless drought. Have not scored all game. It's a seven-minute mark. It's a cluster right now, and they're going to space out with an exchange screen. Cannot find anywhere to go with a ball screen now for the shooter. Off the back iron, no good from Hayes. Leslie fires it away, and it's saved by Lay, barely. Leslie almost threw that one away, Lay. Thought about a three, goes to King instead. Katie King tries to orchestrate things. Goes back to Lay. Lay. Pops out. Wilson thought about a three, thinks better of it. Lay keeps swinging the ball to King, back to Lay. Lay one more to Wilson. Wilson now will launch from three, and it's offline. Euro step. Foul, and one. What a way to break the scoreless drought for the Lions in an and one attempt. A feathery finish by Truth Taylor. Fires up the and one attempt offline. Only going to get the deuce. Six minutes to go in the first. Lay. Kickball that sails to the Fort Smith bench. That was the rare kickball that was actually kicked pretty hard. Usually just a soft pounce off the foot. Impressive play by Hayes. Lay. Drive. Dish inside to Allensworth, who tried to fire it back out to King. It's taken away by Hayes again. Hayes all over the floor. Three ball, shot, offline. Truth, reverse layup. Rattles in. Lay, barks out the orders. King swings it over to Wilson. Wilson surveys the floor, looking for something to do. Leslie, one more to King. King calls for somebody to help. Wanted a ball screen from Leslie. Instead, it'll go for Lay. Lay 
Get back out to King in the corner. King going to drive through the lane. Spinning, half spin, hook shot, no good. Burnbridge comes up with the rebound. Hayes keeps the ball alive, going inside. Kick back out to Hayes. Going to drive baseline. The dump off pass to Truth on the deck. Jump ball. Possession arrow favors Cameron. Trapped at the timeline. Goes over to Wilson to break the trap. Wilson skipped past to King. King back to Lay. Lay back to Wilson and shuffled the feet. Carly Miller set the check back in. Takes off Leslie. More of a traditional starting five for Cameron. Allensworth, Miller, King, Wilson and lay on the floor. Nine to four. 10-28 mark. Ball goes to Ulele. In and out dribble. Bounce pass over Hayes. Lines up a three. Knocks it down. A 7-0 run for the Lions in retaliation to the 9-0 spark by Cameron to start the game. The Lions did not score until after the seven-minute mark. Allensworth to answer. Can't do it. Long miss. Saved by Lay. Right into the arms of Aaliyah Prince. Prince almost loses the dribble. Going to keep it alive. Prince with two of the seven points. Free throw line jumper. Won't fall. King brings the ball up the floor. Swings it to Allensworth. Three ball, lined up by Lay. Misses it. Pass was going to be a good one, but Olale wasn't ready for it. Allensworth at the rack. It's at the ball poke free and a foul. Gillespie checks in, takes off Lay. Allensworth goes to Gillespie. Three ball, Allensworth. Can't fall. That's the look you want. Tried to push the pace, and it just results in a turnover. Whips it inside to Wilson off the glass and good. So Wilson breaks the scoreless drought for Cameron. They were on a 9-0 run at the seven-minute mark. Had not scored since at the 2:33 mark. Wilson gets the bucket. Prince hop step down low, rises up, fouled. We'll go to the line for two. In and out. That one splashes home. Allensworth going to pull this out. No numbers. Kick out to Miller. Miller with a ball fake handoff to King. King directs traffic with the ball screen now. Thought about a long three. Instead goes to Allensworth who will drive baseline and get bump fouled out of bounds. 
Not many ways to contain Corey Allensworth, who already has five points on three shots. They try to get it into it, goes off of the defender. Allensworth back to Gillespie, who launches a three. Gillespie can't get the shooter's roll, now does off the top of the backboard. Didn't get the initial bounce, but eventually it comes all the way back. Must be Gillespie's lucky day. Had that Australian spin on it. Kick out in the corner for three. Hayes can't answer. Rebound pulled down. Charging foul going to be called on the Lions. It's Carly Miller that stands in and takes the blow. from Mackenzie Piper. Mackenzie Piper from Irving, Texas, went to Irving MacArthur High School. A transfer in from McLennan Community College. Fires it down low to Lovings. Lovings, one dribble, pump fake, off the bottom of the backboard, but a foul called first. Be a foul on Sinatra Jones. Lovings got the first free throw to go. Can't get this one to fall. Triple handoff. Lions looking to create. Driving baseline. Hayes, dump off pass. Loose change off of Jones. 15-8, 15-8, 133 left in the first. Gillespie plays catch with King. Gets the ball across the timeline via Halibright, who throws it away. King, Gillespie, Halibright, Lovings, and Miller. One starter, four reserves for Cameron. We try to finish the first frame strong. Illegal screen. Can be called on Caleb Burnbridge. Loving swings the ball to King. King with a ball fake. Kick out Miller. Rises up, can't hit it from the semicircle. Hayes gets the Lions into their action. They can go for a two-for-one here if they hurry. Prince spinning in the mid-range. An attack strong, lose the ball. King pokes it free, ball still loose. Kick to the corner, open three, look. Knocked down. Four-point game, shot clock turned off. Cameron can hold the last 23 seconds if they want to. If they elect to hold the ball, they'll start their action at eight. King. It's a double screen. Going to launch a three. Just short. Rebound pulled down. Eight seconds to go for the Lions, and a foul called on Miller. Bigger part, they're going to charge the citation of Alana Gillespie. Four-point game, six seconds left. Time for the Lions to race down the floor. they got to go and do four. Now at three seconds with two. A clear lane to the basket. The finger roll up. Good. And the Lions, despite starting down nine-nothing, come back. Their first bucket came after the seven-minute mark, and it's a two-point game. A botched final possession by Cameron, and that just hold the ball till about eight seconds and erase all of that scoring opportunity. Results in a tight game when we return for the second frame after this Lone Star Conference Digital Network. 80 years, the Lone Star Conference has been committed to excellence. What began in 1931 as a five-team conference 
has grown to 18 institutions spanning four states. And while membership has changed, the pursuit of athletic success and academic excellence has never wavered. 119 national championships, over 2,000 All-Americans, and nearly 300 academic All-Americans. Celebrating nine years of success, this is the Lone Star Conference. Lions kick in the corner skip pass made entry pass one dribble up foul they can tie it at the line Them. King fires over to Lay. Lay gets the ball back from King, goes one more to Wilson, wide open three, and Red Wilson can't get it to fall. Jump ball, possession arrow favors Cameron. And we'll flip back to the Lions after the inbound. Lay, bounce pass over to King. King thought about it, now we'll go back to Lay. Lay will line it up. Can't knock it down. Leslie, strong rebound, lowers the shoulder, off the glass, and good. Get pass made. Truth drives. Euro step off the glass. No. Ball loose. Lions ball. Lions in the lane, spin around, off the glass, no. Rebound pulled down by Wilson. Wilson goes to Lay. Lay fires ahead to King. King directs some traffic. Lay bounce pass to Wilson, baseline, and off the bottom of the backboard, but a foul called to negate that. And you can hear Fort Smith coach Ryan Adams saying he wants the same calls down there. If that's what's happening on this side of the floor. He is perplexed. Wilson front irons the free throw. Wilson's second chance. Missed them both. Prince going to drive. Jump step. Misses everything. Pulled down by Allensworth. 
Allensworth pushing the tempo a little bit. With King controlling the ball now. Inside, Leslie kick out King. One more to Lay. Lay inside baseline, Wilson. Wilson trapped there, goes out to Allensworth. Step back, mid-range jumper from Allensworth. Front iron, too strong. And King with the acrobatic effort to save the ball from going out of bounds off of a Lions leg. King fires the inbound to Lay, gets it right back. King back to Lay. Lay setting things up. Going to drive through the lane. Low block. Pivoting around. Fadeaway jumper. Can't fall. Taylor swings the ball around, gets it right back. Going to line up and launch a three. Too strong. Rebound falls off the foot of the Lions, and it will be, they're going to call a loose ball foul, actually, on the Lions. And once again, Coach McAdams is very McUpset, and I don't blame him. I did not think that was enough contact to warrant a loose ball foul. But nonetheless, a 1-3-1 for the Lions. Let's see how the Aggies handle it. Back up to King. King. Takes a step inside the arc, goes to Wilson. Wilson skip past the leg. Leg, it's a flyby. Goes back to the corner. Goes inside to Leslie. Leslie, one more to Allensworth for three. Beautiful ball movement. Sets up a beautiful three from Corey Allensworth. Aggies up 20-13. to 13. Arkansas Fort Smith has to get something going. Aggies on a 5-0 run. Fort Smith scoreless last three minutes. It's the 6:44 mark in the second frame. Can Prince break it? Can't from beyond the arc, off the back iron. Hauled in by Allensworth. Allensworth stops, gets the ball back to Lay. Lay. Long two from Wilson offline. Taylor, Euro stepping to the lane. Fouled, hooping the harm for Taylor. Trying for a three-point play to make it back to a four-point ball game. At the 6-20 mark. The Lions finally get rewarded for all the contact they've been taking and will head to the charity strike. Can't convert the N1. Miller on the miss. Fires it back to King. They're going to let King bring the ball up the floor. Beautiful pass back door. Miller hacked and will go to the line for two. Miller with a nice cut to occupy space. King founder, and here we go. Mick Adams is getting told by the officials that's enough. That's enough. And I think that they just teed him up, or at least gave him an extreme talking to. There it is again, the hand stop. Now, when you get the hand stop, that's a surefire stop sign, and Mick Adams understands that. He didn't get a technical. But he is quite on the verge of it as Miller knocks down the first free throw. When you get the official to put that palm facing you, it's, there's a difference in the palm facing you. There's a difference in the finger facing you. The palm facing you is a clear no-go. And he's still going to flop his arms out. This is dangerous territory for McAdams. Story to follow. Lions get into their offense. Top of the key. Hayes kicks it to Prince. Prince has been an electric scorer. Can she do it again? Elbow jumper. Rising up overlay. Knocks it down. Prince continues the scoring escapade. Lay across the timeline. King, hesitation move. Mid-range J, back iron. Prince on the miss, going to push the pace now, their best score. Rising up again from the nail. Almost nailed it. Long miss, back to Prince, a ball magnet. Prince going to take on Lay. Pop out to Truth. That's Omule. And a foul going to be called on Lay. Gillespie set the check back in. Likely to go retrieve Lay. And it is. Lay with two quick ones at the 523 mark in the second. Aggies trying to get their defense set up for the under the basket inbound for the Lions. Fire it out. Boyett going to launch a three. 
Rattles home. One point game. Lions were on a three minute scoreless drought. And since then, they've been able to really answer the bell on a 5 0 run, 7 1 run, spanning the last two minutes. Dribble handoff. Allensworth needs to get something going for the Aggie offense. Takes it inside the paint. Kick out. Miller going to launch a three, and Carly Miller is offline. Loose ball foul on Cameron, not called. And uh, you eventually do call the foul. They're going to call it on Allensworth. And so at the media timeout, it's a one-point ball game and Fort Smith's ball whenever we return. McAdams staring down the refs. He's got a great sideline presence, just prowling up and down the sidelines. Anyway, we'll talk more about it later. Lions out of the media timeout looking to take their first lead of the game. Any bucket this possession can do it. Omule kick out. Prince bumps off Gillespie. Firing a three. Cashing in from downtown. The Lions lead by two. First lead of the afternoon for the Lions. Aggies now take their turn in a scoreless spell. Spanning two minutes, 4.23 to go. Allensworth inside Wilson. Wilson kick out King. Swing pass to Miller. Miller up top to Allensworth. Thought about a long three. Instead, we'll think better of it and go to King in the corner. King with 10. Now with 8. Got to go. Ball screen from Wilson. Kick out Allensworth. Going to let Allensworth isolate. Allensworth at the nail. Rises up. Misses everything. Rebound. Fumbled with out of bounds. And will go to Cameron. Well, it hit out of bounds before the shot clock violation. There would be at least a second left. But the refs were just confused on what to do. The delay in figuring out whose ball it is doesn't negate the fact of when the ball went out of bounds. But apparently not everyone knows that. Prince. Crossover move. Gets Gillespie leaning. Launches up in the mid-range, can't go. Wilson soars in for the rebound and goes to King. Two-point game. Aggies on the low slide side for the first time. Dump off pass in the paint to Wilson. Kick out to Allensworth. Allensworth back to Gillespie. Gillespie got a fancy shooter's roll earlier and this time can't get the same. Prince. Skip pass made over to Hayes. One more pass to Ulele. Ulele at the elbow. Goes inside, low block. One dribble, trap there, kick out. Ulele, ball fake, drive, bump off of King. Tries to whip pass, and it's denied by Allen, by Wilson. Taken in by King, and Wilson now will drive herself and kick. Allensworth, ball fakes one time, goes through the lane, gets stripped on the way up, gets it right back. Allensworth fouled this time. And we'll head to the line for a couple free throws. (laughs) 
So Allensworth will inbound. I'm sorry, shoot a free throw. Off the back iron, no good. Allensworth, typically a really reliable free throw shooter. Sprinkles in that one, one point game. Halibrite checks in. Two forty left in the half. Lions control their first lead of the night. Spin move in the low post, rising up off the glass and good. Brilliant footwork in the post by Sidney Lun Nunley. Gillespie, legal screen on Halibrite. When it rains, it pours for Cameron, who has not scored in the last. Two minutes and 50 seconds from the floor. 10-0 run by the Lions. Going to be a foul on Cameron. Not only can't make it at the line besides just the one, splits the difference. King, Gillespie offline. Aggie's got to find a way to score. Lions got to find a way to keep the fun on the gas, and they're going to go right to Nunley, and Nunley gets the hoop in the harm. It's been all Sydney Nunley for the last three possessions. A microwave score with five quick ones. Trying to convert the three-point play. Does. Under two minutes to go in the half. Aggies have to figure something out offensively. Dribble handoff trapped off of it. Throws it over to Johnson. One more to Halibrite. Halibrite almost throws it away. Now does. It's Nunley again. Sydney Nunley comes up with it. So you can steal the ball and score the ball. Truth gets a ball screen. Goes inside. The entry pass tipped away out of bounds. It'll be Cameron basketball. Lovings checks in. Takes off Peterson. Misses everything. Timeout on the floor, 116 left, Cameron down 29-22. Here come the Lions up the floor. Minute 10 left in the half. It's Nunley who scored the last five points. Whip pass out. Hayes lines up a three. Bangs it home. Lions have 
grown a 10-point lead after starting down 9-0. What a second quarter it's been. Johnson fires in a beautiful pocket pass off the glass, breaks the snide for Cameron. Johnson set that all up with a nice backdoor cut from Halibright. Hayes, dribble out. Boyette. Pass over to Taylor. Taylor on the low block, spinning fadeaway. Gets the shooter's roll. Ten-point game again, 22 seconds left. Agus can just hold it and play for the last shot. King walks the ball up, gets a screen from Lovings. Lovings pops out for three. Lovings going to launch a three. Lovings tickles the Twylon. 12 seconds for the Lions to retaliate. Clock down to six. They got to move. Four seconds in the corner. Boyette for three. No. And that will do it. At the half, it's Lions 34, Aggies 27. What a first half it's been. We'll have intermission the third and fourth quarter for you coming up on the Lone Star Conference Digital Network. Joining us now is head coach of the men's team, Kevin O'Connor. And, Coach, congratulations on Thursday being your first Lone Star Conference win. Halfway through this season, what's it been like competing in this conference and getting that first win? You know, it feels good. Definitely feels good. Wish it didn't take so long to get. And, you know, I was talking with our tennis coach, Coach Cobble, and he said, congrats on the big win. And he told me that. I was like, I, man, I wish it wasn't such a big deal. But, you know, you, you got to celebrate them when you get them. And uh, it's good to get over the hump. You know, finally get some guys back healthy. I thought Jaden O'Cohen played really, really well and, and uh, probably gave us about 14, 15 minutes. So, you know, this league is, it's, like you said, it's really, really tough. And then when you get injuries and some guys who don't want to be a part of the program anymore, it makes it even tougher. But, you know, when we got five or six good pieces and they all contribute, then we're, we're a tough out for sure. And one of those key pieces was Andre Washington, and, and he yep. put up an amazing stat line, double-double, 18 points, 17 rebounds. Uh, for you, he's really came on late You know, these last few weeks. It's been adding up to this point. What's it been like for you to see him day in and day out get to this point to have this, such a monstrous game? You know, I, I'm not surprised. Kid, kid works really hard, you know, plays 
plays hard, does the dirty work, likes rebounding, likes taking charges. I think he took two, maybe even three charges yesterday. Probably attempted about five. You know, he just he does great job rebounding the ball, and he finished finished well. Like he had some other opportunities against Angelo State. You know, some other like where like I seen him make those turnaround hooks and things like that. He and he, I mean, maybe missed a couple, missed a jump shot that they baited him into, but he played. He played awesome, and he's an emotional leader and a great kid, so I was happy to see him play well. And tonight, going to play Arkansas Fort Smith, so the, the, the competition never stops here in the Lone Star Conference. What are you seeing from them, and what are the, kind of the keys to the game for this one? Well, they have the leading scorer in the conference, number 23, Peyton Brown. You know, they run a blocker-mover-style offense where it's a lot of flares, pin-downs, and they run their stuff. They're a well-coached team and got good players, so just about par for the course for the Lone Star. Going to have to play really well to get a win. Coach, good luck tonight. Hopefully get another win in Lone Star. Thanks, Ryan. Eighty years, the Lone Star Conference has been committed to excellence. What began in 1931 as a five-team conference has grown to 18 institutions spanning four states. And while membership has changed, the pursuit of athletic success and academic excellence has never wavered. 119 national championships, over 2,000 All-Americans, and nearly 300 academic All-Americans. Celebrating nine years of success, this is the Lone Star Conference.
Second half action underway. Lions and Aggies. Going to launch a three. Splash at home. What a way to start for the Lions from Hayes on the triple. Wilson into the corner. Lay wide open. Can't fall. Long miss. Tapped out. Allensworth saves it, but first lands out of bounds. Hayes just hit the triple. Sized up another one, goes to Nunley. Truth inside, gets it right back. In the lane, kick out. Hayes lines up a long distance three offline. 10 point game. Aggies trying to get something going. Allensworth driving baseline, stop, kick. King, one more to lay. Lay, ball screen, gonna think about a three, then go inside to Leslie. Turn around, jumper at the free throw line. Short. Truth pushes the ball up the floor. Nunley drives baseline. Dumps off. Off the glass. No. Rebound pulled down by Leslie. King crosses that timeline and tries to get the Aggies going. They're one for five in the last five three-point attempts. Four for 14 overall. Hand off Allensworth at the elbow. Back out, King. Wilson, long two. Nope. Nunley for three. Doesn't get the shooter's roll. Jump stop jumper. Splashes home. Hayes going to launch a three. Already won this half. Can't get two yet. Rebound pulled in by King late. Burnbridge trying to get the loose change. Allensworth back to King. King going to launch a three. Too strong. Nice entry pass off the glass and good by Burnbridge. Lay the King. King, one more in the corner. Allensworth, one ball faking the jab, stepping his drive. Allensworth layup. Fouled, won't go, but will head to the free throw line for two. Worth misses the first. Allensworth gets the shooter's roll on the second. It's a nine point game at the 646 mark in the third. Prince going to see the ball go the other way on the illegal screen. King got plowed over. Baseline kick. Allensworth driving through the lane, rising up at the elbow, can't knock it down. Prince has the ball, low post. Gets it taken away by Lay. King corrals it. 
Back to Lay. Lay up ahead to Leslie. Leslie jump stop baseline. Jay falls in. Off the glass, Hayes can't fall. Leslie on the miss. King, ball screen, kick out to Lay. Elbow jumper, fouled. Going to the line for two. Hits them both. Gillespie comes in, takes off lay. Ule loses the ball, blocking foul. Down under the basket. One ball fake. Entry pass made. Foul on Webb Wilson and an one attempt for Allen. Gillespie brings the ball up the floor. King. To Gillespie. Gillespie baseline kick. Leslie at the elbow. Gillespie going to drive baseline in the, in the trees. Reverse layup. Misses everything. The Yankees only have one loss here in the Yankee gym and in danger of the second. If the Lions keep playing this way. Lions get the ball into Allen. Kick back up top to Prince. Prince almost loses it at the elbow. Taken away by Miller in the passing lanes. A great steal by Carly Miller. Lay stepped into a three but won't take it. Wilson on the low block. Shimmy shake, kick out. Carly Miller will pull the three but can't get the shooter's roll. Media timeout, 4.16 to go in the third.
Wilson on a nice cut and inbound from King. Going to hit the easy layup and get the Aggies closer. Hayes going to launch a long distance three offline. King on the miss and King going to get bowled over. King spins off of the defender, whips it over to Allensworth. Allensworth trying to go to Wilson inside. Wilson with a nice bounce pass to King. King right back to her. Wilson loses it. Hayes makes the entry pass. Face up Allen, spin around, fade away, can't fall. Long miss, hauled in by King. King launching from just inside the arc, can't hit. Leslie on the follow-up, going to back it out. Here's a three ball. Allensworth can't get the shooter's roll. Prince fouled, and will head the line for two. King almost loses the dribble. Three ball, Allensworth can't connect. A lot of good shots. Hayes, kick out, Truth back to Hayes. Hayes swings the ball to Boyette inside, deflected out of bounds by Wilson. Lions save the ball. Boyette swings at Truth. Going to drive baseline, spinning, throws up a shot, and one. The circus shot falls in. The Lions get the hoop and the harm. Gets it to go. Lions lead by 10, two minutes to go in the third. This one thrown away, and that will bring it to a, another turnover, and the Lions will keep running the floor. Well, yet in the lane, layup good. Tough shot making for Arkansas Fort Smith. Open shot missing for the Aggies is how the Lions have seen their lead swell to their biggest of the night. 
Miller to answer. Connects from downtown. That might be the spark Cameron needs. In the corner, whip pass. Here's Hayes from three. Hayes can't answer. Allensworth on the miss goes to King. King with the ball screen and the launch a long two. Nope. Boyette on the miss. Taylor walks the ball around. Truth Taylor at the logo. Content to hold with just three seconds separating the game and shot. Boyette with eight seconds. Hayes in the lane. Finger roll up and good. Well executed play by the Fort Smith Lions. Leaves no time for Cameron. And the Lions lead 50-39 to 39, entering the fourth quarter. Cameron got out to a 9-0 start in this one. And since then, it's pretty well been all Lions. Do the Aggies have a final push in them for the final frame? We'll see. Hayes to start the fourth quarter. True Taylor gets fouled and will head to the line for one. Beg your pardon, that's Eschler Uloayan. Ola Day. Hits the first. And the second. 52-39. Aggies get it up to Miller. Miller, one drill past the timeline, fires into King. King right back to Miller, swings it to Lay. Aggies got to get rolling here offensively if they want a shot to come back. Lay at the elbow, pops out Miller. Miller with a wide open three. Going to launch it. Offline. Hayes on the miss. Hit ahead pass to Nunley. Sydney Nunley's all alone. The finger roll off the glass. Textbook extends this lead even further. 
Lay, bounce pass over to Miller. Miller, Lay, Lay behind the back move, loses it. Hayes back to Prince. Prince, two on two, fast break. Try to step through, is fouled by Lay. Time out on the floor. Lions will inbound off the timeout. Prince hesitation move, rise up, knocks it down. Must score possession for Cameron and they're gonna fall over and travel. But we got one calling a travel, one calling a foul. They're gonna override each other and it'll be a foul called on the Lions. Gillespie kick in the corner Allensworth tries the mid-range shot won't fall too short Lions are across the timeline now Wilson takes it away. Allensworth coming the other way. Through the lane, bumps into Prince, and it's going to be a blocking foul on Prince. Lions walk the ball across the timeline at the elbow. Prince falls off of Gillespie, going to be a foul call on her, and it will send Prince to the free throw line. Kick 
KK Lay checks back in. Prince does not fall. Offline. Wilson up to Gillespie. Gillespie trying to have the Aggies cash in on the empty free throw trip. Lovings. Inside Wilson. Wilson pop out Leslie. Leslie in the lane. Kick out. Lovings lines it up for three and cannot see it fall in the net. Cameron shooting five for 21 from beyond the arc. Got a foul called on the Aggies. It will likely be on Lovings. Fall away shot off the side iron. Lovings, another wide open three. Catch fire three from Lovings. Splashes home this time. Aggies have some time on their side. They may want to come back, but they got to string stops together. Hayes into the corner. Step back three. Boy, yet. Offline. King, crossover move, rejects the screen, goes over to the corner for Lovings. Up top, and Wilson falls down, loses the ball. Wilson might have hurt the ankle there. Prince, crossover, rise up, mid-range J, no good off front iron. In the lane, Burnbridge fouled by Wilson. Caleb Brumbridge off back iron. They split the difference. King into the corner. Allensworth back over Lovings. Back to Allensworth. Baseline drive. Dump off Leslie on the low block. Off the glass and good. Great bounce pass by Allensworth. Good finish by Leslie. Lay with a nice contest, but Prince with a better finish. 5.30 left in the contest. Lay, ball screen, Lovings. Lay in the lane, loses it, but a foul called first on the Lions. King over to Loving. Loving going to launch a three and buries it. Loving's took the three with conviction. And it's a 10-point game again at the 5-13 mark. Truth Taylor. Pop out Prince. Prince rises up at the elbow. No shooters roll. Hayes flies in. 
But a rebound by Leslie. Lay. Going to get a ball screen from Leslie at the elbow. Hesitation move there. Pulls it out. Lay picks up the dribble. Pops out King. King had space but goes to Lay first. Lay in the lane. Kick out King. Throws it behind her. King going to corral it. Five on the shot clock. King got to go. Four on the shot clock. King in the lane. Finger roll blocked. Huge block by Burnbridge. And they're going to say it was blocked off of King. And so at the media timeout, Cameron trails by 10. Do they have a comeback in them or will they suffer their second loss at home all year? Find out after this. Eighty years, the Lone Star Conference has been committed to excellence. What began in 1931 as a five-team conference has grown to 18 institutions spanning four states. And while membership has changed, the pursuit of athletic success and academic excellence has never wavered. 119 national championships, over 2,000 All-Americans, and nearly 300 academic All-Americans. Celebrating many years of success, this is the Lone Star Conference. Truth Taylor controls it for the Lions. Here's the situation for Cameron. They're down by 10. They've only lost once at home. And Sidney Nunley passes over to Hayes. Hayes can shoot from out there, but will pass it up to Truth Taylor, who thought about stepping into a three. Now will drive and kick. Hayes will drive and do the same. Loses it to Lovings. Lovings out to Lay. Lay's playing with four fouls, as is Wilson and Gillespie. Lovings, mid-ranger. Offline. Aggies cannot afford to give away those possessions after stops. Truth Taylor. Plenty of time for the Lions to work. They're perfectly content nursing the clock. Taylor. Bounce pass over to Boyett in the corner. Hayes will drive baseline and loses the ball. Tap out to Taylor. Taylor in the lane. Euro step. Bump foul on Wilson. No call. Turnaround jumper. No good. Volley it over to Wilson. Wilson pops out to King. Another stop for Cameron, but they've got a score. Allensworth, drive, rise up elbow jumper. Yes, Corey Allensworth with a bucket when you need it. Down by eight. Allensworth has 14. Time for the game high with Boyette. Each team only has two in double figures. One with 14, one with 10 for both. Boyette, nice pocket pass. Burnbridge off the glass, too strong. Prince with 10, Levings with 10. It's Allensworth and Boyette with 14 apiece. Dump off, Wilson off the glass. Good, the hoop and the harm for Red Wilson. Right on cue. A six-point game, 244 left. Timeout, Fort Smith. 2.44 2.44 left. Wilson will be at the free throw line to inch him closer than six when we return.
One timeout left for the Lions, three for the Aggies for the final 244. Wilson to convert the three-point play the old-fashioned way. Does. Five-point game. Truth Taylor to Boyette. Boyette, ball screen from Hayes. Hayes wants the ball, won't get it to her. Prince instead goes inside. Burnbridge, kick out. Taylor to Prince. Prince, crossover, rise up, elbow jumper. Off the side iron, gets her own miss, though. Prince, kick out to Taylor. Taylor going to pull it out, slow things down. 2.14 left. Time on the side of the Lions. They want to wait till 8 to go. Shot clock's at 10 right now. Here they come at 8, and there the action starts. Ball screen from Burnbridge. Taylor loses it in the lane. It's on the deck. Jump ball. Possession row favors Cameron at the exact two-minute mark. Cameron has the ball down five. King will inbound. Off this inbound. Possession arrow goes back to Fort Smith. Lay walks the ball up the floor. Aggies must score. Gets it to Lovings. Lovings, a big scoring frame from her. King, just from a step inside the arc and buries it. Katie King on the long mid-range. Makes it a three-point game. Plenty of time. One minute, 35 seconds on the clock. Lions go to Boyette. Handoff with Hayes. Back to Prince and now Hayes in the corner. Driving in the lane. Dump off pass to Burnbridge. They can't handle it. It's Cameron basketball. Cameron ball, 123 to go, down three. Trying to protect the home floor. They've only lost one time in the Aggie gym. Dribble handoff to King. King to Lovings. Back to Wilson. Wilson back to Levings. Levings going to launch an off-balance three. She's fouled off the backboard. No good, but Levings will head to the line. And if she can connect on all three, it's a brand-new ball game. Levings drew the foul on a three-point shot on Thursday where she was able to hit the circus shot. This time, going to head to the line for three critical freebies at the 106 mark. And McAdams is back on the refs. He's already been warned once. I think he wants a review of if it was a three or not. But he's not going to get one. It was an obvious three. I'm not sure why he even tried that. Tried to ice Lovings, who misses the first. It worked. Heady play by McAdams. Got to give him credit. The best the Aggies can do is get within one. But it takes nailing these last two free throws for Lovings. Good start. I would imagine Cameron takes a timeout if she makes the free throw, and they do, and she does. Two left for Cameron, one left for Fort Smith. Coach Mahoney wants to discuss how to set up the defense. Aggies need another stop, that which they've been getting over the last four minutes. Arkansas Fort Smith has not scored in four minutes and 30 seconds. In that time, it's an 11-0 Cameron run. If you extend the timer out to eight minutes, it's a 18-3 Cameron run. We'll see if the Lions can cling to this lead.
Lions will inbound. They have not scored in four minutes and 30 seconds. There's only a minute remaining in this game, and they lead by one. Boy, it over to Hayes. Hayes, handoff to Ule. Hayes swings over to Prince. Prince going to drive baseline. Crossover move, loses it. But it's gonna, they're going to say it's off of Cameron and off of Lay, who deflected it out of bounds. 52 seconds left, 16 on the shot clock. Ule will inbound. Trying to get it in. Does. Boyette brings the ball out. 13 on the shot clock. Boyette going to start at 8. There it is. Screen from Burnbridge. Boyette swings it over to Prince with 3. Prince got to jack up a shot on the crossover. Did it leave the hand in time? They're going to say she was fouled by Lovings. It will be two free throws for Fort Smith. They're going to review it to see if the foul happened before or after the shot clock expired. The ball certainly didn't leave the hand until after the shot clock expired. But let's see where the foul is placed. So a critical review here that will determine the fate of this game in a lot of the ways. There's 35 seconds exactly on the clock. Cameron has a timeout to advance the ball if they want it. If Arkansas Fort Smith goes to the line, they can make it a three-point game where the best Cameron can do is tie, and they have to nail a three in which Cameron has not been successful this game, shooting just 30% from beyond the arc on seven of 23 attempts. However, Arkansas Fort Smith has not exactly been perfect at the free throw line, shooting just 47% at the charity strike. For now, Arkansas Fort Smith has been scoreless for five minutes and has allowed Cameron to go on a 19-3 run over the last eight minutes. Well, we wait for the verdict on the Lone Star Conference Digital Network. Well, foul happened before the shot clock expired. So Prince will be at the free throw line for a pair. Pivotal. Prince shooting just two for six of the charity stripe, though. So not the worst free throw shooter to foul and misses the first. The best she can do is make it a two-point game. Two for seven at the line. Can she split the difference? Does. Cameron down two, 35 seconds on the clock. They just need to walk the ball across the timeline, but they must score. Allensworth, hand off with Lay. Lay in the lane kick out. King, 24 seconds, 19 on the shot clock. Lovings passes over to Allensworth. Allensworth has to go, breaks down Boyette. Allensworth off the glass, fouled. If Allensworth can go perfect at the stripe, it's a tie game, 16 seconds left. Shot clock turned off and a timeout for Fort Smith to advance it if they want it. It's going to come down to the wire despite Fort Smith at one point leading by 17 points and despite Cameron at one point leading by nine. Allensworth can't hit the first. 
the best she can do is make it a make it a one point game and then foul and hope that they continue to miss freebies. Allensworth cashes in and does make it a one point game. Timeout by Fort Smith. They want to advance the ball. That's their final timeout. No more to go. 16 seconds. Shot clock turned off. Allensworth an uncharacteristic game at the line. Four for seven with 17 points on the resume. Now, if Cameron can get the foul, it's not unheard of that the Fort Smith Lions might miss at least one of the free throws. Prince is three for eight. Taylor is one for three. Nunley is two for three. Ule is two for two. Burnbridge is one for four, and Allen's one for one. That all totals up to 47% from the charity stripe for the Lions. So a better than not chance that the Lions will miss at least one free throw, if you just go statistically speaking. The kicker for Cameron is, during this timeout, since you have a couple in your back pocket, you might want to take off Wilson, take off Gillespie, take off Lay as they all have four fouls because you know you have to intentionally foul and you don't want them to get caught in the scenario where they need to intentionally foul and foul out. However, Wilson is still on the floor, Gillespie is still on the floor, and Lay is still on the floor. So they're going to risk it. That means that if anyone besides King or Allensworth fouls, their day is done. Here comes the inbound. Into the backcourt, Boyette. Guarded by Allensworth. They're not going to foul immediately. Boyette across the timeline. They've got a foul. King storms in. Out of bounds. And it will be Fort Smith basketball. King tried to storm in late and get the steal, but now you just have to foul almost immediately. Boyette catches it in the backcourt. Going to race around, and Allensworth needs a bump foul and does. 7.4 on the clock. Boyette has not attempted a free throw. Still, even with two makes, it would be a three-point game with 7.4 left. Cameron can advance the ball in a timeout. Boyette, the leading scorer with 14 for the Lions. Make it 15 now. Second attempt from Boyette. Boyette. Boy, yes, on the shooter roll. Timeout by Cameron. They want to advance the ball to the timeline. They have 7.4 seconds to draw up a play to free up a three-point shot. My advice would be floppy. But then again, I'd run that play every time. So what is that good to do? Possession arrow does favor the Lions, which is critical if there's a tie-up because that would then in the game pretty well as long as you can make at least one free throw. But basketball is a game of runs. This game has had their fair share of them. The Aggies start in a 9-0 run, and that evaporates thanks to a storm of scoring by the Lions in the second frame, and they eventually saw their lead grow to 17 in this very quarter. Folks, in the last eight minutes, we have seen the Lions blow a 17-point lead at the seven-minute mark now, Cameron has a shot. A three-pointer ties it. Allensworth will inbound. Lay at the logo. Lovings has the look that she wants. She's going to launch it, and it's off the side of the backboard out of bounds. 1.7 seconds left. Lovings is pleading that it got blocked because there's no way it would have hit the side of the backboard any other way. They're going to review it to see. Either way, though, there's 1.7 seconds left. It had to have been blocked just based upon the fact that she shot it from the slot and it wound up square to the side of the backboard. Either it was the worst three-point shot in the history of basketball or it was blocked I guess we'll find out upon further review now Lay does I mean Lovings does have that 
awkward shooting motion where her legs fly out, her arms go 15 different directions, which could cause the rotation of the ball to be so errant, which we might find out is the case on review. Either way, Cameron's comeback bid will likely fall short unless a miracle happens, even if they have the ball. They only have a second left, 1.7 to be exact. Enough time for it to get a shot off, but Cameron typically needs some offensive action to get themselves an open look, and there's not enough time for that. This will pretty well be a catch and shoot. The best option there would likely be Corey Allensworth. Allensworth two for six from three tonight but she has the frame to rise above the defense and the poise to knock down clutch time shots. Katie King, no stranger to clutch time shots, a game winner last season on a 28-foot floater. So they do have some options. They just got to know if they have the ball or not. They're still at the monitor. You can see him huddled up there. Still waiting on the call. They've gone through a lot of angles. Sapprutering the film, as they say. We don't have that many angles, but they're going through them all. There's four angles. They've looked at them all. They're going to discuss. Now you see them huddling up. Hand over the mouth. Want to make sure that no one knows the call before it's supposed to be called. Okay, here we go. Well, what would you see? Well, I saw it was off of his hand. Well, what would you see? Well, I saw that the wind pushed it out. Well, what would you see? Well, I didn't see anything. I wasn't paying attention. I was thinking about what's for dinner. Well, me too. Well, what do you think of the Chiefs game coming up? I don't know. It might be a, it might be a trap game. Okay, let's go discuss. They're going to say it's Fort Smith basketball. That'll do it. That must have been the worst three-point shot ever for it to have landed off the side of the backboard. And Coach Mahoney agree. I mean, he doesn't know what to do. I mean, it's, it's almost it almost denies physics. We might need Bill Nye, the science guy, to uh, come over here. Timeout, Cameron. Anyway, that must have been what the film said. Or, at the very least, it's just you know, too close to overturn because it's hard to, you know, as you zoom in, the picture actually gets worse. So as you zoom in, you might not be able to see if the ball was tipped or not. But this game should be over. If Even if Fort Smith has a, a bad inbound pass, Cameron has no timeouts anymore because of this timeout to set the defense. They have no timeouts. So even if you steal away a bad inbound pass, you can't get the inbound pass and then get it back to the three-point line and shoot the ball in 1.7. So you almost could just give the ball to them if you're Fort Smith. So literally anything wins the game for Fort Smith. Except this five-second call. And they go inside it. Why isn't Cameron fouling? That Again, that took too long. Anyway... 0.3 seconds, not even enough time to get a shot off. Allen's worth day is done. Johnson checks in. It's all academic from here. We're going to have the men game coming up in about 20 minutes from now. So stay tuned for that. Aggies fall for the second time on the home hardwood. And despite their best efforts in the last eight minutes, they just really could not get it going. They, they had great basketball being played in the, in the first quarter. They had it played in the last eight minutes of the fourth, but everything in between was pretty subpar. Well, we'll see the men's action.